So we're going to go ahead and do 2017 on Parallel Football 4 box break number 16. Uh, you don't know if this is true, but Hurt Grant Hill was an underrated player. Oh, my God. Uh, underrated in the sense that he probably would have been the original LeBron had it not been for those devastating knee injuries. Grant Hill, at one point, had the potential to really be, like, one of the GOATs, man. But injuries really killed him. Alrighty. And as always, good luck, everybody. Thank you, Abe. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah, Penny Hardaway's another dude that could have been an all-time great before his injury before his injuries caught up to him. Alright, so Jerry, Thad, uh, I see you guys did a trade. What's the trade? I need both of you guys to confirm the trade. This year, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna have to say Gypsy Queen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Gypsy Queen. Uh, I had never broke that product before until this year, and I gotta say, man, beautiful stuff in there. Last year, 2017, I'm gonna go with either. Origins Football or Inception Baseball. Both of those gorgeous. Uh, Eloy, you're watching it now, dog. Come on, dog. Come on, Eloy. Eloy, either you're blind or you're smoking on that good good. If, which, if that's the case, pass that thing to the left, dog. But yeah, all sarcasm aside, you're watching it, bro. What it do, Sean? Uh, I hit you back on, on, on the eBay message, by the way. You just got in? What the fuck? Shame on you. Shame, I say. You should have been here since like 6 o'clock. No problem, Sean. All right, so Giants and Indians for the Dodgers says Thaddeus. Dodgers for the Indians and Giants. Is this true, Jerry? I need, I need confirmation from you as well. 
for uh, for this trade to go down. Chilling with the little man. Oh, see, why'd you why'd you have why'd you have to go there? Why'd you have to go there? Luckily for you, Eloy, that is a valid excuse. Timberwolves putting a little hurting on the Rockets right now, up by seven. But they got to maintain that for the whole game. I like the fact that they're making it a point to get Carl Anthony Towns the ball. Oh, Ryan, dude, that this, bro, this room is X rated. No, this is uh, not for the faint of heart. I am a potty mouth through and through. The Cavaliers actually won, Sean, believe it or not. LeBron had to put up like 45 points for them to do that, though. He put LeBron scored like half his team's points, which is crazy. Uh, anyways, good luck, everybody. Let's see what we got here. This stuff is super colorful, so like it always throws me off. As far as what's numbered and what's not. I think it's the, the horizontal ones that are numbered. Like, uh, well, this one's base. Deshaun Hall. This one should be numbered. Uh, Taco Charlton. LeBron had to put the whole team on his back. Le that The Cavaliers probably aren't going to advance past the first round, man. Uh, to 149, Taco Charlton Cowboys. I appreciate that, Eloy. I'm glad that uh, my potty mouth has not turned you off to the greatness that can be had. To 49, Dalvin Cook with the two-color dual relic for the Vikings. That's pretty sweet. Vikings, uh, Vikings are going to be nice next year. Vikings might make it to the Super Bowl. I know the Eagles going to have something to say about it, but on paper anyway, they look really good. So this shouldn't be numbered. It's not. This one probably is. Elijah Hood for the Raiders to 299. Right. They got Kirk Cousins. They got you know Dalvin uh, Dalvin Cook is coming back from injury. Uh, you know they they gonna be nice. As far as the Lions, I don't know about the Lions, man. I don't know. Everybody seems to quit on the Lions. Barry Sanders, Megatron. If a Transformer's quitting on you, I don't know. Matt Ryan to 49 for the Falcons. Uh, I hope my Dolphins can do something. <laughs> we all know they're not going to do jack shit. Larry Fitzgerald. That's to 49 for the Cardinals. This should be number. Eddie Jackson Bears to 49. Oh, yeah, you've seen the Dan Marino? Bro, that's probably the sickest football card I've ever pulled. I've ever pulled. I think the Dolphins are going to get there. It's just, you know, I hope it's it's in, during my lifetime. You know, with my luck, I'll be on my deathbed, and that's when the Dolphins win a championship. Uh, that'll be a way to go. To 199, D.D. Westbrook with the rookie patch auto for the Jags. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna find the way to fuck shit up in the draft. And, and did you guys hear? They're gonna have the uh, you know 
you know how they had the uh, there was a shooting uh, in one in, in a school here in in, in Florida. I, I can't remember the name of the school, uh, but you you guys might have heard about it. Uh, they're gonna, we're gonna have a, a few students from that school announce our draft picks. You know, and I feel I feel for those kids because not only did they have to deal with getting their school shot up and and losing some friends and whatnot, but now they're gonna have the fucking displeasure of announcing the shit show that is the Dolphins draft picks. Anyway, uh, we have the eleventh pick in the draft. We need a quarterback desperately. We've needed a quarterback since nineteen ninety nine, when uh, when when Marino retired. So I hope we pick my pick. I would want either Baker Mayfield or Lamar Jackson. That's that's who I want. You know, nobody's talking about Lamar Jackson. But I think that kid has the potential to be like Michael Vick 2.0. Like, you know what I mean? Like, a, just a game breaker. Like, I, I really think he has potential to be an absolute monster in the NFL. Uh, Craig Robertson, Saints to 199. Same thing with, uh, with Baker. I think Baker Mayfield also has potential to be really good in the league. That's who I want. I need a quarterback. First round pick. Has to be a quarterback. Either Baker Mayfield or Lamar Jackson. You know, the thing with RG3, RG3 kind of had it in the bag, man. Like, his rookie year, all-time great rookie year. Uh, Old Delta, 189 there for the Giants. Uh, the problem with RG3 was he was playing for the Redskins. Uh, and, you know, he kind of rushed himself back from injury, man. If, Le if he never rushed himself back from injury... RG3 would still be like, you know what I mean, like a big a big name now. You know what I mean? Uh, I agree, though, Elo. I, I don't think Baker Mayfield's going to get past or, or make it to 11. I think Lamar Jackson will, though. Um, this Raekwon McMillan looks pretty sweet with the Dolphin colors there. That's number 249, autograph. But, yeah, man, I, I, we'll see. We'll see. The Dolphins will find a way to fuck shit up. Like this guy, I think this guy was our first round pick last year. He missed the entire season, or actually, I think he was our second round pick. Um, he missed the entire season injured. Julian Edelman, Patriots, uh, to twenty five. Right, Tannenbaum is just gonna draft another O lineman, like he always does, to protect. Uh, to protect the fucking third screen quarterback. Gerard Davis Lions number to 499. Baker came out and said he's not going below 5. Well, it's really not up to him. <laughs> you know, and some of those teams don't really need a quarterback. I mean, the Browns need a quarterback, Giants need a quarterback, Jets need a quarterback. And those are like four of the five picks there. The top five. All right, so Jerry and Thad, you guys traded spots. So Jerry is going to get Indians, Giants, and Thad is going to get Dodgers. Am I understanding this correctly? I need confirmation from the both of you. Uh, I mean, that break is going to take place right after this. So 199, Amar Darbo, Seahawks. Giants are going to draft Saquon. Who do the Giants have the second pick in the draft? I think the Browns need a quarterback, man. I think the Browns need a quarterback. Uh, who'd they fucking sign? Josh McCown? Yeah, they need a quarterback. Well, no, I lied. They, they, got, uh, they got that guy from the Bills. Uh, Tyrod Taylor, I think. Uh, yeah, they need a quarterback. <laughs> Tyrod Taylor is not your franchise quarterback. Uh, he wasn't for the Bills. He damn sure ain't going to be it for the Browns. Uh, unless some miracle happens. Who knows? Uh, but I really think that they need to draft a quarterback. Uh, the Browns should draft a quarterback with their fourth pick. If I was the Browns, you know, they got the first and the fourth pick. They should draft Saquon first pick and best quarterback available in number four. 
But what the fuck do I know? Mardar Bow, Seahawks, RPA right there. You feel me, Harvey? They, yo, you got to go with your can't, the, the can't miss. Saquon is can't miss, bro. But the Browns will figure out a way to fuck it up. TJ Watt, Steelers to 499. Ah, I forgot Joe Thomas retired. Probably the only shining light for that Browns team. Todd Gurley the second for the Rams. Rams are going to be scary next year too, man. There you go, Todd Gurley. Rams to 199. I'm going to agree with you, Thad. I mean, Barkley with the first pick should be like automatic. And then best available quarterback at the four spot. Who is this? Andy Janovic with the autograph for the Broncos. Number 9 out of 10 right there. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. That one's a number. Justin Bethel for the Cardinals to 99. That's another team that needs a quarterback. Zoned in to 189. Drew Brees. You know, they, they can pick up a lineman in the second, third round. But your first round picks, got to be running back quarterback. Saquon with the first pick, best available quarterback number four. That's just me. Jordan Lewis, Cowboys to 189. Oh, I forgot. They got Carlos Hyde out there. Uh, they still got my boy from the U, Duke Johnson out there. They got, you know, they got some good pieces, man. David and Joku, they picked up uh, Jarvis Landry. And they got some good talent. Josh Gordon was balling last year when he came back. We shall see. We shall see. Dude, Duke Johnson is nice. I haven't really seen enough Browns games to know if they're using him or not. But in college, Duke Johnson was a fucking beast. That's what we do in Miami. We produce running backs. Brian Hill, Falcons to 149. Speaking of, I can't wait for college football, man. I think uh, I think the U is going to get back into national championship uh, contention. We got we got close last year, but you know we buckled under that pressure. But we shall see. Uh, Zay Jones. With the three-color dual relic, four colors on one of those patches to 25 for the Bills. That's pretty nice. You know, well, luckily Tyrod Taylor has some wheels on him. So if the offensive line crumbles, he can just scramble. Ryan Switzer to 499 for the Cowboys. Ooh, and we're good? Sean, so you're a Browns fan, Sean? All right, so I got to ask the only Browns fan on this side of the Mississippi. Uh, dude, who do you want with the first pick and the fourth pick? So 49, Derrick Henry, Titans. I'm going to put you in the hot seat, Sean. If you were the GM and you had to draft your picks, who's your first overall pick? Are you trading it? What are you doing? We got rid of Indomitian and Sue. Fuck that guy. Gerard Davis for the Lions to 299. Now, I think the Browns are going to win a total of four games next year, which is probably the total amount of games they've won in the last four years. I do think the Browns, I mean, the Browns are, you know, if you look at the box score, 
at least last year, the Browns, or, or even the last two years, the Browns, they're scrappy, man. You know, it's not like they're losing by, you know, by three, four touchdowns. They're kind of close. Um, but we'll, we shall see. We shall see. Damn, Francisco, like that. You know, I, I have hope that we're going to go undefeated every year. And then week one happens, and that gets shut down. Elijah McGuire, 149, Jets. You'd go Darnold with the first pick. So you're going quarterback with your first pick, and then you're praying that he's available at four. See, I don't I don't want to leave that up to chance, man. I would just pick Saquon up in the with the first pick and get the best overall quarterback with the fourth pick. Davis Webb, Giants. Uh, you know, that's probably another reason why the Giants may not draft a quarterback is because this guy. You know, you spend a first-round pick on him last year. I think he was a first-round pick. Um, <laughs> and you're going to draft another quarterback in the first round? Like, damn. There you go. Davis Webb, Giants. Rookie patch auto. As far as Sam Darnold is concerned, I don't know about him, man. I, I, I think... Uh, he he gives me he he reminds me of Brady Quinn. Great college quarterback who I don't think is going to be do anything in the pros. That's just me. Uh Steve Young to 189 Niners. How many quarterbacks can be on a team? I think 4 is the maximum. To 489 Gary on Cowley uh Raiders. You know what's funny, Francisco? The only time I've ever gone to to Dolphin games is during uh, against a divisional opponent. Uh, I've been to a Patriots game and I've been to a Bills game, and we won both games. You know, when we play within our division, we play a lot better. Um, I just wish we did that against everybody else. Jordan Howard of the Bears. That's number two one ninety nine. That USC hype train, man. That's you know I don't really I don't really buy what uh, Sam Darnold is selling. He just he reminds me of Brady Quinn, man. Rasul Douglas to forty nine for the world champion Eagles. So much false hope. Yeah, that's that's being a Dolphin fan. Josh Allen reminds you of Ryan Leaf. Ooh. That's like the most disrespectful thing ever, you can say. You know what's funny, Francisco? I went to the Bills game, I think it was like three, four years ago, where we absolutely destroyed him. That's when, uh, what's his name? Our backup quarterback, uh, I forget his name. He went off for like five touchdowns or something. Bro, that game was amazing. Anyways, speaking of, Isaiah Ford of the Dolphins, what happened to this kid, man? Oh, I've been to a Patriots game, but they were in Miami. Oh, dude, I would, I would, I would love to go to a Patriots game rocking my, uh, my Dolphins gear. I'm going to get into a few fights, but who cares? Uh, Isaiah Ford to 299, Dolphins. I heard he got hurt or something. Yeah, yeah, we actually play the Patriots extremely well at home. Uh, Tom Brady has come out and said that he absolutely hates playing the Dolphins in Miami. You know, he's he not used to that muggy weather we got down here. Baker Mayfield equals Johnny Manziel 2.0. <sighs> Damn. Yeah, I've been, been hearing that a lot. To 99, Joe Haig, Colts. I don't know, man. I think I think uh, Baker really has. Baker, I think, can be like Drew Brees. Not as big as arm as Drew Brees, but I think I think I think he has a, the potential to be like if Drew Brees and Russell Wilson ever had a baby, it would be it would be Baker Mayfield. Dude, I, bro, remember when the Dolphins unleashed a Wildcat offense on the fucking Patriots? That shit was amazing. For that one year, the Dolphins were, like, scary. And then after that, people just figured out, well, just just quarterback spy that, that those dudes. You'll be all right. 
Uh, Christian McCaffrey, two-color patch for the Panthers. That's numbered to 49. Russell's a swinger? I didn't know that. Bro, you remember Ronnie Brown? Ronnie Brown used to be the man, bro. Ronnie Brown was a really good running back before injuries got to him, too. Ryan Anderson for the Redskins to four ninety nine. I wonder what Sierra has to say about Russell Wilson uh, swinging. To 189, Brandon Williams, Ravens. Uh, Ryan, you mean Matt Moore for at you? I think that's who you mean. That's our backup quarterback, Matt Moore. Ryan Moore is his lesser known uh, cousin. Star Factor for Priest Holmes. Chiefs running back to, to 99. Another great running back whose career ended short due to concussions. Chris Warmly, Ravens to 49. Man, I remember I remember when Ricky Williams rushed for like 2,000 yards or something like that. And then the next year, you know, I remember there was a cover of Sports Illustrated. And it's like, oh, the Dolphins are going to win the Super Bowl. No doubt about it. And then Ricky Williams is like, you know what? I think I'm just going to get high and not play football no more. Greg Ward to 299 for the Eagles. It's not easy being a Dolphin fan. It's not easy. I mean, there's worse things out there. You could be a Browns fan. What else we got? Trey, uh, Tri Turner, or whatever. For the Hunters, that's number 249. Marcus Mariota, Titans. That is number to ninety nine. What what happened with Dave Wanstead, man? Dave Wanstead, I remember back in those days, you know, we weren't doing like we weren't we, like we were getting into the playoffs every year. You know, we were either the one or we we either won our division or we were like in second place in our division when we had Dave Dave Wanstead and, and, and uh, uh, Jay Fiedler at quarterback. We had really good defenses, but like we had like. Top three, top five defenses back in the day, uh, you know, in in the in the early two thousands, we had like consistently one of the best defenses in the league, but we had no running game, and like our offense was kind of. <clears throat> but man, it's it's a, it's a shame to to reminisce. You know, I'm a young, I'm a young, you know, I'm I'm twenty, I'm twenty eight years old. So I'm really, you know, I wasn't there for like the hey hey days of the Dolphins in the '70s and the '80s and early '90s, you know. But yeah, I remember we would at least get into the playoffs, and yeah, we'd lose in the first round, but at least we got to the playoffs, man. Tim Williams, Ravens autograph to '99. And I like Jay Feeler, man. Jay Feeler was a dog. You know, Jay Feeler went out there and balled out. And exactly, my man was doing it out there with that porn stash. Desmond King. I packed that for the Chargers to 189. This break is taking a lot longer than it should because I'm just here talking shit with y'all. Uh, Jared Veld here. Number to 15 for the Cardinals. It's a pretty low number. I'm gonna go ahead and top load this. I know for you, I just you know, I just wanted to uh, to fuck with you. The biscuit to 189 dual napkin. Unfortunately, jazz up by six. How much time left though? Because that ain't nothing. That's two possessions right there. Zach Cunningham, Texans. That is numbered to 499. There's a minute left. Fiedler sucked, but I mean, we won games with him, Sean. Yeah, yeah. Jeff, I mean, Jeff Garcia was decent when he was with T.O. and whatnot.
Four at you. I'm not. I'm not even gonna bother correcting you anymore. Uh oh my God, Chad Henney was so fucking terrible. Man, I could sit here and like name a, a, all, all our quarterbacks over like since '99. We had Jay Fiedler. You remember fucking Cleo Lemon? Cleo Lemon is probably the worst quarterback I ever seen in my life. We had Pat White, who was great in college at West Virginia. Came in, played for the Dolphins. R.I.P. to that guy. I'm not sure if he's even walking right now. Uh, <sighs> Dude, we, we've had way too many, man. We've, we have we had Gus Frerot. We had fucking uh, Jeff Gard. What's his name? Uh, he was a quarterback for, for the Chiefs. Concussion master. Came to, the, came to the Dolphins, got another concussion. It was a wrap. Uh, man, just way too many crap quarterbacks, bro. Chad Pennington was decent that one time. Uh, Ch uh, Hieronimo Allison, Packers to 199. No, not Pennington, Jerry. I'm talking about Pat, Pat White. Pat White. What you know about Pat White? Francisco know who Pat White is. Jerry, you probably don't, uh, but Pat White used to play with, I think he played with Deshaun Jackson, too, back in the day, uh, over at West Virginia. Obi Melifongu, Raiders, 299. Matthew Days of the Browns. Number to 299. Look up Pat White right now on, on YouTube. And try not to cry. Because the hit that he got, that like, it was a career ending hit. I honestly thought I saw somebody get, get murdered on the field. Gerard Davis to 199 for the Lions. Oh, well, that's, that's fine and dandy, Jerry. But the fact remains... That Pat White paid for the Dolphins. Oh, yeah, he did play at Southern Cal. Or whatever. Yeah, I always confuse those teams. Because they have, like, relatively the same colors. West Virginia and Southern California. So I might be on that. Gerard Davis, the 189 Lions. What else we got? That's not numbered. This one is, though. Marquez White for the Cowboys. Number to four nine. Man, I remember when we got Pat White. It was like it was such a hype. It was like, oh man, he's gonna be like Mike Vick, blah blah blah. And then he got hit, and I honestly thought he died. Like it was a devastating hit. Anyway, that's it for the break. This thing took entirely too long, uh, but it was fun. All right, here we go. Recap time. Gerard Davis, Lions. Tim Williams, Ravens. All right, Sean. Damn, you just used me and abused me and you're out? That's fucked up. Don't treat me like one of your whores. Russell Douglas, Eagles. Davis Webb, Giants. Well, technically, that's what I, I, I am a whore. Cardboard, cardboard, cardboard prostitute. Uh, what is this? Andy Janovic, Bro Broncos. Amar Darbo, Seahawks, Raekwon McMillan, Dolphins. You better do something this year, motherfucker. And D.D. Westbrook for the Jags. Get out of here, Sean. I'm done with you. And I'm done with this. 2017 on Parallel Football. Four box break. Number 16. Thank you very much. We'll get that out.